This is Court. Hey y'all, it's your girl Court, and we are talking about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, one of my favorite movies of this year, okay? I know I already talked about it a little bit online, but I really wanted to give it its own video because it deserves it, okay? Anyway, before I dive into it, you know what I'm about to ask you. Subscribe to the page, please. I really appreciate it when y'all do. Like, comment, do all that cute stuff, but please do not forget to subscribe as well. I love when y'all get tuned into my content. Anyway, let's dive in. So, the sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has just come out this weekend, and y'all, what a time was had. What a story. Y'all, this film is phenomenal. First of all, I think what they did a really good job was, was allowing us to not only dive into more of Miles Morales' story, but also to dive more into Gwen Stacy's story and understanding how she came about and understanding her battles and her trials and tribulations and all these different things. Because it allowed you to really dive into the Spider-Verse, right? That's the whole goal, to really get to know all the different Spider-Persons, right? I really love how they did that. I think it allowed her character to have a little more fun, put in a few jokes here and there, understand where she was coming from, and understand her connection with Miles Morales. I thought that was great. Also, too, I just really feel like we are growing this story so beautifully. Like, I feel like Miles Morales is not understanding his real circumstances. And throughout the entire time in the beginning of the film, I'm like, yo, why, why is it, you know, Spider-Man, why, why is it Miles Morales' character knowing about these, these several other Spider-Man? Like, he already knows about the other ones, but this world, this world of Spider-Mans, why he late to the party? What's going on? And when I tell you, the story just moves so, like, snake-like, like, very snake-like, y'all. And finding out more about Gwen Stacy helps build that story. I'm telling you, y'all, this was such, such a great film. From the action to, 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 the, to the relationship between Miles Morales and, and um, the Peter Parker uh, Spider-Man, Spider the Peter Parker Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy Spider-Woman. Oh, meeting the new Spider-People, Jessica Drew, Jessica Drew. He said you fucking killed back. <laughs> Jessica Drew was so fucking cool and was so very like, she's such a stern character too. She was cool. She was edgy, but also she was very much don't fuck with us. I told you what the deal was. Okay. Oh, and when Oscar Isaac came out as Miguel O'Hara. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Yo. Oof. That movie was so good. It was funny. It added notes of uh, all these different um, animation styles. It added notes of that while also um, having notes of like realism. It had some real people in there too. Y'all. When I tell you they had fun with this movie, they had some fucking fun with this movie. Y'all, it was so good. I'm really not trying to give, get, um, give no spoilers. I really, really don't want to give any. So I told myself this was going to be a spoiler-free video. I just wanted to dive in a little more about how good it was. I loved Daniel, Daniel Kaluuya's character as well. I thought he was fun. He was like the voice. He was like the, the rebel, but understood that there's a huge community and wanted to be a part of it, but understood that his rebel, his rebel self, it was going to poke through every time. It was going to poke through every time. Every single character was so complicated and so beautiful. Having Ayo in it too? This all-star cast of people. Oh. Oh. It was, so, it was so good. Like, I don't think I've had that much fun in the theater in a while, okay? And I really feel like they dove into the fun of it all. They dove into Every spider person is different, and we about to show you all these different spider persons. Every every little thing, like I just thought that was so smartly done. It almost like literally, y'all. I'm literally sitting here thinking, like, damn, I wish I was one of those little baddies back in the day that was reading the comics. I just know the comic book community, the the, the comic fans are probably loving this. Like 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 just oh, we've been waiting for the movies, and now we can see them, y'all. I kind of think I want to maybe get into the comics. 
do I want to dive more into these stories beforehand? So I've got to wait a whole year to see what happens. Uh, I've been thinking about that with this and I've been thinking about that with mangas as well. Like I, I've been watching a bunch of anime recently. I'm like, dang, maybe I, maybe I, maybe I can start reading mangas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I want, I've been wanting to get deeper into the community, you know, maybe I'm with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, the movie is so good. It's so good. I love, I love us d diving deeper into his struggle with not being able to tell his parents about, about not being, that he's Spider-Man and understanding. Cause you know, we, we, we know what it's like telling, telling other, you know, black and brown parents something they don't want to hear. Something they're not really fucking with. Like, well, you've been lying. You've been doing this. You've been, they, they yelling at you already before you can even tell them what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like those moments are portrayed so heavily, but also beautifully, but also complicatedly within their story. Because you can see that we want to know what's wrong, but they give you that little bit of anger in their voice because, you know, they, they work so hard and they don't want you fucking up the life that they built for you and all these different things. And da -da 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 -da. Uh, I just, it, it, it just feels so crazy amazing to be able to look at a character, a cartoon, this cool ass cartoon and say, wow, that looks like me. I feel that. I understand that. I recognize that. Seeing Jessica Drew, seeing the other black girl, uh, I don't remember the character's name, but Ayo plays a, another spider person within the universe. She has a, uh, she, uh, her character has like a, um, uh, a AI version of her that pops into the actual universe while she's at home, but she's still a spider person. She's, she's smart. She's intelligent. Like it's so, oh my God, like just being able to see those beautiful black characters. I'm sorry, y'all. No, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to talk about race, but I think it's so important that we we as a community get to finally see something and resemble it in it in a way where we we didn't have to imagine ourselves in it. We can see it now. <sighs> it's just nice. <laughs> it's just so nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I think we've always we always have have already like um what's it called when we can see ourselves in something even though we don't see ourselves. You know what I'm saying? What's it called? We can relate. We can we can we can we can. We can Ugh. I, I said the word earlier today, but I just don't remember it. Ah, I can't remember it. But we can relate to characters that don't even look like us all the time. We've been doing it for years. We've been doing it for centuries, okay? Now that we finally get to see us be these cool-ass superheroes, I can't get enough of it. Oh, I can't get enough of it. And when I tell you, I cannot wait for the third one. Oh my God. The cliffhanger they left us on, honey. Oh, I live for a cliffhanger. I live for it. Give me something to wait for. Give me something, give me something to be excited about for the next movie. I'm excited. I can't wait. And honestly, I've already reached out to my managers and my agents. Please, I've got to be a part of it. How do I get involved? I want to be in it so bad. I want, I want to be in it so bad. If I keep speaking it into existence, if I keep working hard, I'm going to be in this next Marvel movie. I'm going to be in this next Marvel movie, movie, whether it's animated or whether it's live. I'm going to be in it, okay? Sign me up. I'm ready. But I just wanted to dive in a little more to the movie because I really think it's super, super cool. Um, I think it has some really great elements and it. Jumping into the different, um, different universes, I think, is just so fun. I think it's like, it just reminds you how big this is this these worlds are and i think it it plays with the idea of like there being multiple universes and you're not the only one and it and i don't know i think i always think that's super i love when content or or movies or you know movies tv shows anything like that that when they touch on the universe aspect it being multiple of them and like it just it just reminds you like you know you you be thinking you, you you're so centered on yourself but allowing yourself to know there's 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 several other universes in this world in this, in this, in this, you know, in this universe, if you will. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But there's several other people, you know, to take into consideration, you know? I, I, I don't know. I, I just love when they touch on different universes. Because I think that's something that people don't like to talk about. Or people think it's scary. But they're embracing it. We're falling into it. We're in it, you know? I think that's, I, think I just think that's fun. But, um, Yeah. That's all I wanted. To do. I just wanted to talk about it a little more because I could I couldn't contain my excitement about the film. The film is just so good. But anyway, 
That's all I have to say about it. Please, please, please run to your nearest theater to go see Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse so that we can all brag about it and talk about it and, and gush about it. Please, it's so good. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say, y'all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, before you leave, please like, subscribe, comment, do all the cute stuff, but don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. I'm going to be posting a little more often, especially with fun little um, personal videos like these. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Once again, it's your girl, Court. Don't forget to subscribe to the page, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for listening. As always, I'll see you.